and welcome to Secrets to Wellness. You know what the wonderful thing is about these Secrets to Wellness? It's that it doesn't matter where you are in the world, they are available to all of us. Isn't that wonderful? So no matter where you are tonight, if you're watching on Hope Channel, if you're watching on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube ministry, just know that you can do these wellness things as well. And so tonight our topic is environment and sunshine. We're going to talk about our environment playing a major role in our well-being. So our environment makes a difference. Our environment is vital, is vital to our health. And it's either health restoring, my friends, or it can be health destroying. So our environment is very, very important. And you know, our loving creator made this world environment perfect. When God created the world, it was perfect. Our planet was perfectly designed to promote our optimum health. And Eden was so beautiful with colorful flowers and majestic lofty trees and rivers of flowing water. In fact, I don't think that pictures could even show or describe how beautiful Eden was. And it was an atmosphere that was unpolluted. The air was fresh and clean. But unfortunately, because of sin, my friends, today the quality of our air has been dramatically changed. In fact, we have polluted air outdoors, we have polluted air indoors, and we have polluted air everywhere. Fumes from vehicles and toxins from factories and toxins from tobacco smoke and even damp, uncirculated air indoors. That's not what God wanted for us. That's not how he created Eden in the beginning. He created a beautiful earth, and yet one of life's most overlooked, most precious health gifts is pure air. So how can we go out in that air? We're going to discuss that tonight. You see, pure air is one of God's natural remedies. And look at this beautiful waterfall right here in Africa and the beautiful trees out there. Yes, you have some beauty here as well. And you know what, my friends? There is healing power in nature. It is God's physician. Have you ever thought about the fact that nature is actually God's physician? In a book called Ministry of Healing, page 263, it says this. This is powerful. It says nature is God's physician. The pure air, the glad sunshine, the beautiful flowers and trees, the orchards and the vineyards, and outdoor exercise amid these surroundings are health-giving and life-giving. You see, the pure air, the glad sunshine, the orchards, the vineyards, the trees, the flowers, all of these are health-giving and life-giving. So nature is actually God's physician. Now, we need physicians today, that's true, but we need God's physician, and that is nature. You see, human beings, we were made to be outside in the fresh air and the sunshine. And so spend time, my friends, finding some place in nature because it is going to improve your health. And so let's look at some of the benefits of pure, fresh air. Well, pure, fresh air just refreshes the entire body, making it strong and healthy. Look at this family out here in Africa, in the fresh air and the sunshine, and don't they look healthy and happy? It is wonderful. 
to have pure, fresh air to refresh our body and our minds as well. And pure air, my friends, promotes happiness. When you're in the fresh air, you're going to feel happier. You see, serotonin can actually significantly lighten your mood and promote a sense of happiness and well-being. So you feel happier when you're out in nature. And also, pure air improves digestion. Can you believe that even our digestive processes are even better when we're out in the fresh air and also the sunshine? And pure air improves blood pressure and heart rate. Now, the doctor has been talking about how we can improve our blood pressure, get it down, but just one simple remedy that God has given us of pure air will help. And pure air increases our energy. You know, some time ago, we had the privilege, my husband and I went to Switzerland with past our friends, Pastor Ted Wilson and his wife, Nancy, and we climbed those Swiss Alps. And we were feeling so energetic going up on those Alps every day. And so actually, this air, pure air, is going to increase your energy. And it's going to improve your brain power. Wow, young people, don't spend all your time inside if you want to do better in school. Because good, pure air is actually going to improve your brain power. So let's look at all the things that good, pure air does. It improves our happiness. It improves our digestion. It improves blood pressure and heart rate. It actually improves our energy. We're more energetic. It improves even our lung function and improves our brain power and improves even our mental health. We're going to feel so much better mentally and emotionally. And we've been talking about the, immu the immune system, and we want to build a strong immune system if we want to be healthy. And so fresh air, good, pure fresh air will improve our immune system. So walk out among the trees. Trees actually purify the air. Find some trees. Just this afternoon, I went out just around here, and I walked with my friend Alice, and we went out, and we were just finding some trees to walk among so that we could get some good, pure air. Because you see, there are health-giving, life-giving properties in the trees. Have you ever thought about that? God has given us life-giving properties in the trees. In fact, a book called Councils on Health says, life in the open air is good for body and mind. It's God's medicine. It's not only the physician, but it's the medicine for the restoration of health. Pure air, good water, sunshine, the beautiful surroundings of nature. These are God's means for restoring the sick to health in natural ways. So if we are feeling sick, get out in the pure air and the sunshine, and this is actually going to restore our health. And so our environment, my friends, and fresh air is beneficial for our well-being. It can either contribute to sickness or it can contribute to health. And so fresh air has wonderful power, my friends, to build our immune system and actually will assist us in the body's healing of diseases. We want to get rid of those diseases, right? We want to lower our risk of these diseases. So take some deep breaths when you're out there in the fresh air. You see, because full deep inspirations of pure air which fill the whole all the lungs with oxygen and they purify the blood and they impart to it a bright color and send it a life-giving current to every part of the body so my friends life in the open air is good for the body and the mind it's god's medicine for the restoration of our health. So get out there, 
Find some trees and your health will improve. And open the windows in your home and the blinds and get that fresh air coming in to your homes. And breathe deeply several times every day. And if you feel tired even, just stand up and take those deep breaths and that will help. Because deep breathing releases tension. And deep breathing makes the heart even stronger. And deep breathing elevates your moods. And deep breathing improves even your posture. And we have to be very careful about our posture today. We need to make sure that we're standing up straight and not leaning over. We need to make sure we have good posture because that's also a remedy for good health. And breathing deeply of fresh air helps our memory. It fosters sound, refreshing sleep, and aids in balancing our nervous system. And even again, increases our energy. So we want to be more energetic because you see, the older we get and the more sedentary we are, the weaker we become. So we need to increase that energy. And there are wonderful trails right here in in Nairobi, in Nairobi, where we can enjoy health-giving and life-giving benefits from nature. And walking in the beauty of the African nature, my friends, is a healthful activity. So we have one remedy of environment, but we have another remedy of sunshine. Some of us don't get enough sunshine because we live an indoor life, but we need to get out there. Have you ever thought about the sun? We're going to stop and just think about the sun. It's the largest star at the center of the solar system. It's the brightest object in the Earth's sky. And have you ever thought about how big it is? Wow, let's look at Earth and look at the sun. The sun is 109 times larger than the earth. A million, think about this, a million earths could fit inside the sun. God created the sun on the fourth day of creation because he knew that it was one of his health remedies. And so the all-powerful creator of the universe causes the sun to rise and causes the sun to set every day and on time, my friends. But with all the spectacular aspects of the sun, our loving creator has given us sunlight to benefit our health. He's given us good sunlight. It's a revelation, my friends, of God's love. It's an ancient prescription for abundant health right from the Garden of Eden. You see, sunlight is crucial for our overall health. In fact, look at these children, these African little beautiful children. They look so happy and so healthy. They've probably been outside running and playing and getting the benefit from the sunlight. And so let's look at all the benefits of sunshine. Sunshine in moderation, we don't want to get so much and just lay out in the sun all day and get burned, but we want to get it in moderation, and it provides multiple health benefits. Let's look at the benefits. It strengthens the immune system. There it is again. Are you beginning to see how we strengthen our immune system? It's through all of these remedies that God has given us. It actually can alleviate pain. If you have some pain and some aches and pains, just get out in the sunshine, and that's going to help. And lowers blood pressure and cholesterol levels. All of these benefits. The sunshine also is a vitamin that lifts our entire spirits, and it can reduce depression. Did you know just getting out the sun, out in the sunshine, you're going to feel so much better if you are feeling depressed? And I know that there are some across Africa that have written and asked if we could pray for them because they have had some depression. 
just get out, my friends, in the sunshine, and that will help. Get out in the fresh air, drink your water, get your rest, do all of these things, and that will reduce depression. You see, because sunshine is truly what we call the happy vitamin. So let the sun shine in, my, my friends. Yes, and it's going to soothe the nerves. Soothe the nerves and elevates the mood. You're going to feel so much better. And sunlight increases our vitality. And especially, my friends, as we get older, we have less vigor. Well, some people do have less vigor and vitality, but maybe some of us, because we're following the laws of health, still have quite a bit of vigor. But it's important for your aged parents or for others to get plenty of sunlight. Don't keep them indoors. Get them outdoors in the pure, fresh air and the sunlight. And then even sunlight kills germs. The United Press International reported in 2011 that ultraviolet radiation from the sun kills germs on laundry dried outside on a clothesline and gives clothes a chemical-free, fresh scent. Now, my friends, I'm here to tell you because I'm 78 years old, so I lived in the olden days, in the 50s, 40s and 50s, and we hung our clothes outside. And so there are many benefits just from that. And sunshine provides vitamin D. Vitamin D is the known sunshine vitamin. Dr. Chitty talked about that last night and how important it is. And why is vitamin D so important? Well, according to the National Institutes of, Se of Health Office, the facts on vitamin D are that it protects the body from a number of these killer chronic diseases that we've been talking about. And research confirms that vitamin D is protective against even some cancers and osteoporosis and risks and diabetes, all of these awful diseases. And it strengthens the bones and sunshine helps prevent osteoporosis. In fact, the world statistics show that osteoporosis affects one in two women and one in three men. It's not only affecting women today, but also men. But look, 50% of the women will get fractures and 30% of the men. And the fractures are what you need to worry about. So just getting that vitamin D will help because vitamin D deficiency is associated with osteoporosis and hip fractures. So we need sunshine, my friends. And just even 20 to 30 minutes daily will give you the vitamin D necessary. But we must get out there in the sunshine and enjoy nature because that is one of God's remedies for health. So spend time outside and take a walk after you eat. Sunshine is crucial for overall health. In fact, incorporate sunlight into your lifestyle, which is another one of God's natural remedies for health. In fact, my husband and I regularly at home get out in nature. We have 17 miles of nature trails in back of our home, and we're riding our bikes and walking and hiking, and it is so important. But not only on a daily basis, but when you have special occasions, spend them outside. You know, it was 56 years ago that my husband and I were married. We were married 56 years ago, and here's a picture of our wedding when we were very young, only 22 years old, and, <laughs> and we are lighting one candle. We each had one candle, and then we're writing one indicating that, we, that the two shall be one. But you know what? Six years ago, we had our 50th wedding anniversary. We had our 50th, and we decided to spend it outside with our children in a place called Tybee Island in Georgia. And we went there, and we decided to put on our wedding clothes. 
And so I put on my wedding dress, and he, Mark found his, we didn't have much money when we got married, so it was a very simple wedding, but we put on our wedding clothes, and we said, let's surprise our children, our grandchildren, and just say, oh, here comes the bride. And, <laughs> and we would come up with our wedding clothes on. We had no idea that our son-in-law was going to take all these pictures. So we had this wonderful time together on our 50th wedding anniversary. And here are our children, our three children, and their spouses were there as well. And here are our five little grandchildren. And you know, those little grandchildren, they were so excited. They were there clapping. Here comes grandma and grandpa in their wedding clothes. <laughs> And it was so much fun. But we spent most of the time, my friends, outside, in the fresh air, with our family, with our children, with our grandchildren. And so you can make your, have all these special memories. These were times of great memories in our life. We will never forget that. And the beauty of this is that we were out in the sunlight and sunlight happens to be one of the most effective healing agents that we can find in nature. And so you will even live a longer life, my friends, if you get out in the sunshine and follow God's remedies. So every day, get exercise, get sunshine, and get fresh air, because perfect health depends upon perfect circulation and you'll have better circulation out there in the fresh air and the sunshine. And child, in a book called Child Guidance by Ellen White, it says this, by active exercise in the open air every day, look what's going to happen. The liver, the kidneys, and the lung, lungs also will be strengthened to perform their work. So your lungs, your liver, your kidneys are all going to be strengthened when you get out there in the sunshine. And so the more we live in harmony, my friends, with God's original plan, the healthier we're going to be. And we, I know that all of you have been following my prescriptions every night. So here's another prescription for you. Walk in the sunshine with your head erect and your shoulders back and take those deep breaths. So your head erect, your shoulders back, and take those deep breaths. And you're gonna feel so much better, and you're gonna be so much more energetic. So here are my teeny tips for you tonight. Walk outside in the fresh air every day. Just take the time that you need, my friends, and open the windows, especially when you're sleeping at night. And I know you can do this, because when we were in Tanzania, we even slept under a mosquito net so that we could open the windows. So open the windows so that you can get that fresh air. And then air out your bedding regularly. This might be a new one for you. But rather than making your bed when you first get up, just pull the covers off because you perspire at night, you sweat at night, and you need to have that air cleanse your bedding as well. And then make your bed later on, and then practice that deep breathing until it becomes a habit. It is so important to take, my friends, those deep breaths. Take breaths and practice deep breathing every single day regularly inhale through the nose and exhale out through the mouth so i think that it's time for all of us wherever you are my friends whether you're watching by hope channel wherever you are watching by youtube if you're in your homes if you're in the marketplace if you're in a church, I want you to stand, and I want those of you here, right here in Nairobi, to stand as we do some deep breathing. Let's breathe, my friends. Oh, you feel better by standing already, right? And so let's breathe in through the nose. Take those deep breaths, 
and breathe out through the mouth. Let's do it again. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Again, breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. And now, let's pretend that we're out in nature, we're walking, we're walking among the trees, and we're getting those health-giving, life-giving properties from the trees, and we're getting a benefit from the exercise as well. And so, you are going to feel better, look better, and live longer, my friends, because Jesus says in John 10.10, I have come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. God wants you to have life and he wants you to have it more abundantly. So God bless you, my friends, as you follow God's laws of health because God's ways are always the best ways. Let's say that together. God's ways are always the best ways. God bless you.